the Sea Pulse Heart Assist System is an extra aortic balloon pump using well understood counterpulsation technology to treat moderate to severe heart failure. Its primary benefits are it may be implanted minimally invasively in a sternal sparing procedure without the need for surgical bypass. It is placed outside the bloodstream and the patient has the ability to disconnect from the system for brief periods of time. It is designed to improve heart function by increasing coronary blood flow, decreasing afterload, and improving cardiac function. The C-Pulse device does not require the patient to be on anticoagulation medications. The system consists of the cuff, pneumatic gas line, ECG sensing lead, percutaneous interface lead, external drive line, and the external driver containing the pump and battery. The system utilizes a dedicated programmer for use by the physician. The C-Pulse Heart Assist system consists of a biospan polyurethane balloon and Dacron cuff fitted to conform to the ascending aorta. The balloon inflates inwardly causing a thumbprint deflection of the outer curvature of the ascending aorta. The low strain rolling action of the balloon is designed to minimize stress on the ascending aorta. The C-Pulse Heart Assist system pumps in counterpulsation to the intrinsic heartbeat. The balloon inflates in diastole to increase the coronary perfusion and oxygen delivery to the extremities of the body. When the cuff deflates just prior to systole, it lowers the pressure in the aorta thereby decreasing afterload. A bipolar epicardial ECG sensing lead is attached to the ventricle. Balloon deflation occurs upon detection of the R wave and inflation occurs at a clinically determined time after the R wave following the end of systole. The C-Pulse Heart Assist device may be placed through a right-sided mini thoracotomy or by performing a partial or full sternotomy. The C-pulse cuff is then placed around the ascending aorta above the aortic valve. Epicardial sensing electrodes are then attached to the ventricle and are verified to produce good signal sensing. Both the sensing lead and the cuff gas line are connected to the percutaneous interface lead and then tunneled down and brought out through an exit site in the abdominal area and attached to the driver. A dedicated C-Pulse programmer is used to adjust timing settings in order to have the balloon inflated after the LV ejection and the closing of the aortic valve. It is also used to ensure the balloon deflates prior to the start of LV ejection. After the procedure is completed, the patient may remain in the hospital for as little as four to five days if the procedure is performed in the minimally invasive manner. The patient may easily disconnect from the system for short periods of time, such as for taking showers. First, the power button is pressed to turn off the driver. Then, the driver is disconnected and the percutaneous interface lead end is capped off. It is recommended that the patient limit disconnection to a 15 to 20 minute period in order to maintain therapy providing for a better opportunity for the heart to improve. While disconnected, they may notice some return of shortness of breath. When they are ready to reconnect, the cap is removed, the percutaneous interface lead is attached to the drive lead, and the power button is pressed. The device will automatically resynchronize to the patient's heartbeat and resume therapy.